entrepreneurship in South Africa is now the buzzword. And I think that a lot of South Africans, particularly in our black communities, are waking up to the opportunities of being their own, of, ha of having their own businesses. So our responsibility as a department of small and medium enterprise is to encourage South Africans not only to be job seekers, but also to be ones who look for opportunities where they can be the ones who employ others with innovation and, and, and everything else. Yeah. Now, just, just uh, I'm sure you're aware of the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor uh, report that comes up annually that uh, looks at various countries. And uh, one of the things that they pointed out about South Africa in particular is that the pipeline in terms of young people, especially between the age of 18, 16 or 18 and 34, let's say 18 and 34, going through that, I mean, is that more of them tend to be job seekers than looking for approach compared to our peers in the rest of sub saharan Africa. The percentage of that for us, the public is about 25%, the rest of the country is about 60%. Is that the, one of the biggest challenges for you? It is one of the biggest challenges, and uh, unfortunately for us, it's just our history that uh, kept a lot of us uh, out of, 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 that, uh, op of those opportunities. As a result, even parents are not encouraging uh, their children to go that route because they always talk about a secure, uh, something secure. So our responsibility now is to really encourage young people to look uh, at opportunities that present themselves. Hence, we are hosting as South Africa this uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week. We are hoping that this week, this week will further uh, strengthen our position of saying that there are opportunities for young people, but also it's an opportunity for South Africans to share with other uh, people from the, from the world. As you rightfully say, that if we look at uh, entrepreneurship in the African continent and the world, we are way behind uh, South Africa, but we will get there. The, the other one, besides the, 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 that old age of growing up, you know, you grow up, you must get education and get a job. You yes. know, that's how we grow up, mo many of us. Yes. There's also the perceived lack of opportunity. So you think the Global Entrepreneurship Week that you're hosting will assist you? in making sure that young people are becoming more and more aware that there are opportunities out there. Absolutely. This week is a week of celebrating innovators, is a week of celebrating job creators, and therefore we think that just the fact that it's, it is being hosted in, in South Africa and you are giving uh, the opportunity, for instance, to talk about it, I think that a lot of people are going to be exposed to it, particularly young people. And if I look at the topics that are going to be discussed, are the, just the relevant topics for South Africa? Because as you know, we are a, a new ministry and we are going to be focusing on ensuring that small and medium enterprises are supported. We create the conducive environment for them, but also also make sure that from a leg legislation and regulatory environment, we change that so that they, it can be conducive for them. One of the criticisms that we've seen of government in, in, in the past few years is that, yes, you've got these good policies in place, yes, you have these various ministries, but somehow, somehow we don't get the sense of an integrated approach. You are coming in as a new ministry, it's, I think it's about six months now yes. since May when you came in, but we do have programs under the Department of Trade and Industry to support small and medium business, for instance, historically. Are you in your new ministry coordinating well with the others to make sure that your efforts for small and uh, medium enterprises, your efforts for entrepreneurship actually bear fruit? If we don't coordinate and cooperate, we are doomed. There is no reason for us to think that as a ministry alone, we can be able to do this, this job, firstly. Secondly, the coordination is very important for us because we believe that um, opportunities for small and medium enterprise sit almost everywhere both in government, within the different uh, departments, but also in the, in the private sector itself. For as a, a ministry, we are coordinating not only with the Ministry of Trade and Industry, but economic development. The minister the other day called us a tri tripartite alliance in support of small and medium enterprises because we believe that what the Department of Trade and Industry had done in the past, they did a, a, a lot of good work. What we're doing now, it's a question of upscaling, expanding, and making sure that we are focused. But let me also just say, importantly, it's not about uh, an, uh, coordinating and cooperating at national level. It's about connecting to the province to the local level, because at local level they've got what they call local economic development. This is where a lot of opportunities sit for small and medium enterprises. And therefore, when we look at this, they talk about creating of an ecosystem 
We need to do exactly that for South Africa. Okay, very briefly, Minister. I mean, you've only been in your job for six months now. You've got a, a five-year term. Well, barring any reshuffles, if they happen in future, we know this, these things are possible. But how should we measure you, your, your area your department? I mean, let's say five years down, when we look back, what should Lindy Wills Zulu be measured and say, this is what I've achieved in terms of small and medium business in South Africa? Firstly, it's the sustaining of those small and medium enterprises who already are or up and running because you know we don't want them to collapse because if they collapse it means the rest who are coming behind will not be able to okay, make it is sustainability is important but also balancing and ensuring that there's new entries ones who are entering they must al we must also support those ones uh, thirdly we must make sure that the legislation and regulation where it has problems because it's not to say that the legislation and regulations are bad it's just that in some areas they need to be changed we need uh, uh, to change that but most Im important most of all is about how much we have encouraged south africans to look at the opportunities of small and medium enterprises as also an area a, a career path and i think that five years down the line if we've managed to do that then we would have done a, a, a good job just creating a very good base from where people can, can, can function. But I think what is important is that small and medium enterprises need to sustain themselves, which means the skills development, the education that they need in order for them to maintain and sustain themselves, that should be our focus.